Okay, and here we have uh, another game that uh, will be out shortly called Path of Exile 2. And what I'll do is I'll just kind <coughs> of... I'll run the trailer here. Okay. Just sort of do this for you. The gods are dead. But left on their own, men will always seek to take their place. Criminal! Your sentence is to be hanged from the neck until dead. Let your souls feed the first ones, and your bodies feed the land. The only result is pain and death. This is a game that definitely, for adults, might be going over to it more. Only get done 20 with years Diablo since Kitaba fell, <coughs> and already corruption <coughs> spreads like a plague through these shattered lands. <sighs> Wretched malevolence lurks in the shadows. It is our calling to put it to an end. It must be done. If Rayclaus is to survive. So anyway, I will, uh, I'll tell you a little about it. So you don't get, if you have the old game, y you don't get a new game, right? You, you buy the, I guess you, uh, I don't know whether it's free to play or not or whatever, but you carry over your old guy to the new um, uh, game or seven act story. So, you know... <laughs> <laughs> We're all sitting here waiting for Diablo 4 for what, how long? And then they want to make us pay 60 bucks and then put microtransactions in it. And the, the biggest, there's two problems I have with this game. Number one, whenever they do a patch, you have to download the entire damn game again. It's, it's ludicrous. That's the first thing. The second thing is where they get you. Okay, in this free to pay game is in your inventory because you're going to have to store things and they make it so that you're going to have to buy more space. That's, you know, it's a fun game to play. There's, you know, I, I'm not going to diss it that way. It really is fun to play. It's a good game. I played it for a lot of hours and then it just they started doing a bunch of updates in a row And, and I was just like I, I can't keep download uh, at the time I only had five megabit internet and it's like I can't keep downloading this bloody game every day. I mean, that's That's half my day's internet right there at five megabit back then, right? but uh, even at you know if it's uh Basically, at the speed I'm doing, I can do about a DVD an hour, right? Four gig an hour or so. Just around a little more than that. Almost five. Okay? And and, and get this. You know, I, I go to install Fortnite tonight. I was thinking I might think about that Stormtrooper thing in, the, in later. And then I thought, no, kids are in that game. I don't want to be... I don't want to give that stupid YouTube algorithm any inkling of anything. Okay, 
And unfortunately, guys, I mean, I've seen a couple of kids playing games today, and I thought they were in live streams, and they were asking for people to play with them, and I'm like, nope, not me. Sorry, I can't do that. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. Nope. Is your parent, is your mommy there, you know? <laughs> can they, can they give me written permission to play with your kid? And, uh, you know, and, and it goes on like this, where you just think, you know what, it ain't worth the hassle. Sorry, kid. You know? But, and they, they, they really should. They should just take under 13 and just chunk it right off of YouTube and send it right over to, uh, the kids area and leave it there. And, and then have advertisers for kids and you know and all that go ahead make your toys and advertising and all that stuff for that the rest of us you know we grew up with games and we're still playing games right we i'm getting into making them a little bit you know having some fun with it i'm just messing around i, I have no actual i have some plans of what i wanted to do with a, a game and it would utilize several different aspects of, of many different games, in fact. And the thing is that that, that that kind of an idea is probably beyond my scope of ever getting done. So, you know, I, I'll make little worlds and, you know, maybe make up some stories and put some neat stuff in them. And, you know, just sort of do little mini shorts and different things like that. And, and with the... the uh, the stuff you get from uh, Quixel there, I mean, now I've got, I want to I want to upgrade all my hardware so I can really do a lot of this stuff. I mean, like hardcore, right? Because the stuff we're getting for free is that good. It's, it's that much quality. And there's, you know, if I want to make, I, I, I'm sick of Hollywood, okay? I really am. Sick of all of them. I, I, I'm sure most of you could probably agree with me, right? <laughs> so what do you do? You either cry about it all day like most people are doing here on YouTube or, or you do what I'm doing. Get into the, get into it. Find a way to become your own entertainment, okay? Um, I don't know how else to put that, <laughs> you know, in a nice way without swearing. Without breaking any more YouTube rules, right? Like, the Unreal Engine's free. And if you'd have been doing what I was doing when they started this, you'd have a ton more of stuff that now will cost you a few bucks. So far, if you were to go back to the Unreal uh, Marketplace for developers and buy all the things that they've given me that are now no longer free, okay, did I get to keep and commercially use you're gonna spend a couple hundred bucks okay and some of this stuff is kind of it's kind of a good way to learn you know you you get to play with this stuff people ask me how do you learn all this well I just grabbed it fired it up well this looks like a neat template oh you run around doing that okay so now okay now uh, how do I put a skin on that what do they call that oh okay so they call that an act the guy an actor and um, then you you got a blueprint that you put over top of that. So well, how do I do this? And then you, you start learning the terminology. And then you go back to YouTube again. You look for a video that can retarget this so-called skin or blueprint onto that guy. And uh, who's called a mannequin, right? Kind of like what you see in the stores, right? A mannequin, just sort of that faceless whatever, right? And then you, you know, you, okay, now I want to do, I go to free3d.org and I grab some model there and I want to put some bones in it to, uh, I want to animate this. I want to make it move around. How do I do that? So you look at some videos and then they update software. So now you got to upgrade to that. And then you got to wait for people to, you know, catch up to teach you this stuff because maybe they know something you don't yet, right? And, okay, now you're practicing this and you're doing that. So this is how it goes, man. And uh, just for the one person that asked me that question, and that's how you do this. I mean, it's it's, it's just a question of your t how much time you have to be messing around with this stuff. And, and uh, okay, then you got to... 
you got your guy and you can animate him, right? And you can move and run around with him and jump around and do stuff. Now what? Okay, now I've got to make an environment for him. So I'm going to need some textures. That's the stuff that your trees and your plants and your rocks and hills and mountains and I gotta I gotta have a terrain there and, and I gotta be able to know how to make that and I, I do all this stuff right and you gotta learn all this all these things and you will you will have your own entertainment okay we are we are getting to the point I'd say within 10 years that you'll be able to uh, they'll, they'll come out with something that you can put right on your head which is virtual reality and and some gloves and wiggle around and do stuff and then that's the animation for that character okay you'll be able to do that in a few you can do that now but it's expensive right as adoption gets in right things get cheaper so anyway eventually as this progresses and people make things quality of life modifications and, and, and what Unreal Engine has been doing is looking around at what would be cool that most people would want to buy and they go and buy it and they include it for free thus saving you tons of money okay long term alright this Quixel thing is huge saving you know last month there were 400,000 developers of Unreal Engine I can guarantee you that by the end, if they keep this, keep doing this kind of thing, by the end of, of next year, there could very well be a million people playing around with their engine. That's a big number of people just mucked. And, you know, probably half of them are like me that are just mucking around with stuff, checking it out and having some fun with it. They call us hobbyists. We're still game developers in a way because I can take everything I make, turn it into something executable, that you could download and play around in right you know and, and this is where okay I add a multiplayer plug in there then all of a sudden three or four of your friends could be just mucking around in there I mean I can make a survival game right now that you can build things and go and collect things on the ground and pick them up and build a house you know it won't be you know it's not involved right yet but you know and and I bought that for uh, what was it? I forget. It was a couple of bucks, and that's just a template to do that. And then you you once you see how it's done, you then can add things to this stuff, right? So you put that in there, and you have a shooter game, and you have the ability to actually build things, and you have different types of materials that have different strengths to resist damage. You have a K, uh, this new chaos system that's supposed to be coming. It's supposed to be in the engine now. It is, but it's in 4.2.3. It wasn't enabled properly. In 4.2.4, <coughs> it's not showing up right either because, you know, and, and I know why. I, they just don't want to say. It's, uh, it's because it uses Visual C++. And the new version, uh, the 2019, is for Windows 10 only. Okay? This is part of the issue. Is that, un and Unreal Smart, they, don't, they know that almost half the Windows users are still on Windows 7. They don't want to leave us behind. That's the sign that they're being cool about it. Right? I get it. But here's where, okay, that what they're gonna, what I, what's gonna happen for me at least anyway is I'm gonna migrate to Linux. I have absolutely zero reasons anymore to be on Windows, none, zero. Right? All the top games that I want to play or good games that I want to play, I can play on Linux. Right? So, that being said, you know. I won't be buying another computer and giving Microsoft any money because whatever because when I when I bought this computer I had them put it together from parts 5% went to the US veterans and then shipped up here to Canada right now at the time our vets are supposed to be looked after up here in Canada and then it came out that they weren't looking after them or I might have reversed that and made it so that our vets would have been looked after you know, I would have sent some donation to somebody or whatever, right? 
and at the time I had a job and I had lots of money and I was okay and everything else and then you know you get disabled by a hurt back at work and then you're stuck at home you might as well do something so I'm trying to do something I got ideas I, I want to get a team of people together one of these days to do something I, I hear little rumblings around from different people that I'm subscribed to that would love to do something but they don't have some skill or you know whatever well I didn't know anything about the engine you know how long ago right I, I see when when other people are showing what's what unreal has done right given out they what they do is they, they show their web page and they show a little video of theirs you know that of what they're doing the difference is, is that I actually take the asset put it in the engine fire it up check it out and I'm doing it with another template adding it in opening that up you know and I've had to learn a few extra things because sometimes certain s assets weren't designed for that template I was using those um, all those 4.23 things that you see there were designed for mobile games and here I am in a third person uh, template running around in them okay which is that's pretty cool that means I can use all the mobile game assets right that's the thing about Unreal Engine. You can go across the swaths a little bit. There are some things that are just Windows only, and there are certain things that, are, yes, will be operating as system agnostic, as they say. But, uh, yeah. I, I, I might give it a try. You know, uh, the thing was, when I downloaded Fortnite, it said it was about 24 gigabytes or whatever it was, 29 or something. I go to a look at how much space I have left and it's taken up 60 gigabytes like oh my god 60 gigabytes for a, a battle royale game really what what the no really <sighs> so I'm gonna have to uninstall that and then muck around with stuff So I'm wondering when this is going to come out. This is uh, uh, beta testing until late in 2020. So this isn't even until next year either. So they're going to probably try and get out before Diablo 4. Just to mess with people. <laughs> We're at Activision. I can see it. Anyway, just looking at all the rest of this junk on this page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So nothing new. Anyway, it's coming. Anyway, I'll, I'll let you guys go and um, uh, let's see here. I might go out for a bite to eat. Look at that, 169 bucks for you to pay $60 for a game or whatever it is, or, or $169 to pay, and then basically you get YouTubed you get to play a game on YouTube like w but you you could play it instead of like you know buying the game and playing it yourself locally without you ne and you'll need internet yeah 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 <sighs> Ooh. Ooh. oh and you'll probably need batteries for that <coughs> yeah <coughs> He's blue season coming, eh? Yep, 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 yep. Anyway, I'm going to let you all go. And um, I was going to do something today and I forgot. But it'll come to me and I'll eventually go do it. <laughs> anyway, have a good one all.